Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my New Year's resolutions for the year 2019. So I hope you like this video. So first I just outlined the header that says New Year's resolutions 2019. Um, I planned to make it in a like bubble letter theme. After that, I just used a pen to outline it again and after that, I used an eraser to erase all the pencil marks. After that, I just used a Stabilo Peach highlighter to color in the words and the numbers. I use the Stabilo Peach Marker again to draw like a borderline. And then my first New Year's resolution is to exercise more. The year 2018, I found out that I've been skipping a lot of swimming due to either me having a lot of tests and or me being lazy to just go swimming or me just trying to make up an excuse why I can't go swimming. So this year, I'll make sure that even during like finals, I would at least swim once a week during the school year and on summer, I would swim more than once so maybe like thrice a week and then i just want to tell myself that this is for my health so this will be good for both my physical health and for my mental health My second New Year's resolution is to be more social. In the year 2018, I found out that I'm not that social like we had prom in grade 9 but I refused to go because my friends are not going so if they don't go, I won't have anyone to talk to which will be very awkward. Then I really hate public speaking so I would really get low grades in school because the teachers say I always have a soft voice and I need to make it louder even though I tried to make it louder. So like in the year 2019, I want to be more social which means I want to be confident with myself. I want to make more friends whether it's international or whether it's in my school I want to attend like events it's, it can be school family or other events without the feeling of like I don't want to socialize and I want to be better in public speaking so I want to have a confident voice I want to have a confident posture because I want to express my ideas and opinions more clearly My third resolution is to balance my life. As you know, the year 2018, I first started my YouTube channel and along that, I created my first Instagram and started my study blur in Tumblr. 
So with this, it came lots of responsibilities. So normally, I slack off on my sports because of this or if I have lots of work to do, I have to slack off on YouTube for sometimes and it really got hard midway 2018. So what I want in 2019 is to be able to balance my whole life which means I should be able to balance my school, my social, my sports and YouTube and other social media stuff. And I want to do this early because I know when I get to college, it will be even harder since the workload will be harder. So if I can balance this now, I might not have a hard time doing this in college if I ever still continue doing YouTube in college. My fourth resolution is that I want to procrastinate less. Often, I find that I procrastinate because I'm not motivated to do it or I'll just say I'll do it later and then get addicted to all the other unnecessary stuff and realize it's already 9 o'clock and I have done zero work and I have tests and homeworks due the next day. So, I want to change that in 2019. So, I want to like start the task now instead of later so I can get it done and so i can relax later and i also want to get rid of rid of the mentality of i'm not motivated to um, motivate myself by either going for a jog or watch a study with me and i want to at least let my planner be useful by listing all the stuff that i have to do there before going home so that i won't have to think when i go home what am i gonna do so i will waste more time at home thinking of that and i also want to list the complete schedule of my test and assignments so that i won't like cram it last minute because i forgot to put it in my planner and i just realized in my head oh this thing is due tomorrow and you only realize it what at 8 pm My fifth resolution is that I want to start preparing for college. As you know, I'm a sophomore or I'm in grade 10 and in two years, I would be going off to college. Well, if any college accepts me. So during the 2019, I want to start making a list of what college I want to go to. So like I will make like an excel like i would write the names of the college and their requirements like what sat grade are you supposed to have what's your gpa supposed to be how many ap's and like what's the tuition there and how much is housing you know the general college stuff and then since this 2019 i'm having my psat on march i want to also do good on that and I want to plan when I'm gonna take my SAT and my SAT subject test since most colleges requ require you to take an SAT and SAT subject test depending on what course you're getting. So I'm taking computer science so they require me to take an SAT subject test of math level 2 and one science SAT subject test so I can take either biology, chemistry or physics. So. I will just be choosing physics since I like physics. My sixth New Year's resolution is that I want to make time for my mental health. So over in 2018, um, I found that I wasn't making any time for mental health and as a result, I can see sometimes that I can't concentrate or I just get stressed too easily and maybe that is the cause why I'm not motivated and like why I still have some anxiety when like getting scores back or when taking tests. So this 2019, I want to make time for my mental health because mental health is important because generally if your mental health is down 
you won't be able to function well so like me you won't i don't think you'll be able to concentrate or do your stuff like in a like good your level of good or excellent so what i'm gonna do this 2019 is that every morning instead of going to my phone or tablet i would just talk to myself on the morning maybe do some yoga like what Anjay the Jade does and I'm just going to like give some self affirmation like today will be a good day or you can do this and of course um, it's okay for me that if only if the only thing I did that day was survive because sometimes life gets rough so just surviving is like an achievement and if like i'm stressed on something like i'm stressed about the test next day i would like stop studying and i would like go on a jog or i'm just going to like reassure myself and like i will just make myself my favorite cup of tea or favorite snack just to like calm me down because your mental health is more important than whatever it is you have the next day And my last resolution is to get enough sleep, which is 8 hours and more. And this resolution will be the hardest to do since last 2018, um, I've, been, I've not been getting like enough sleep due to like work since workload of grade 9 is like pretty much a lot, like twice as much as compared to grade 8. So... What I want to do to sleep earlier, I'm not going to procrastinate. I'm going to like get all my stuff done so that I'll have more time to relax and so that I can sleep earlier. And like I'm going to like plan what like what to do for that day. I'm going to make sure I don't overwork myself so that I can still get a good night's sleep. And if you're wondering what happens to me if I don't get enough sleep, well, it's not just that I can't function properly. I get al allergy, which means I get I sneeze the whole day. I get runny nose. Then after that, it develops into a cough. And after a cough, I get a fever or I get a really bad headache. So that happened to me like multiple times. In 2018 so I can clearly remember not going to school for around four to five days just because of my sickness or fever that I've come up with and so this is the finished product of my list of New Year's resolutions for 2019 and please disregard my spelling of resolutions I never noticed it until I we edit this so i hope you like this video and thank you for watching